GCK Gospel to every creature. Welcome to the weekly announcement. We have an exciting lineup of events and activities. First up, we have the highly impactful GCK Global Crusade with Kumuyi program. You can tell me you've not heard about it. The Impact Academy. This academy equips youth with the tools and knowledge to make a positive change in their lives and make a lasting impact for Christ in their communities. For our esteemed ministers, we have the upcoming Ministers and Professionals Conference. This conference is a unique platform where ministers and professionals from different backgrounds and denominations come together to glean wisdom, share experiences, and receive fresh insights for their pastoral and leadership roles. Tune in to GCK Daily for daily devotionals and insightful messages from Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi. Experience the power of transformation through our impact sessions designed to empower youth for a life of purpose and influence. Don't forget to check out TKC, The King Circle, our vibrant and interactive online community where you can connect with fellow believers, join engaging discussions, and access valuable resources to strengthen your faith journey. Stay tuned to GCK TV and GCK Radio for uplifting sermons, worship sessions, and inspiring testimonies. For those with their hearts for global missions, we are thrilled to announce our Global Missions Immersion Program, GMIP. This program offers a life-changing opportunity to experience firsthand the transformative power of missions. As we reach out to those in need and spread the love of Christ to the nations. Lastly, for our young stars, we present stars standing tall as a star. This program is designed to empower our children and youth to shine brightly for Jesus, nurturing their gifts talents and character to impact their generation positively for more information about these events and to stay connected with us please visit our website at www.dclm.org you can also follow us on social media for regular updates and inspiring content Today, the Lord is beginning with you as a great miracle worker, signs and wonders. Miracle in your life. Signs and wonders in your life. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved, shall be healed, shall be delivered. Lord, let there be manifestation everywhere. Whatever you are asking from the Lord, healing, deliverance, miracle, mountain moving, whatever, this is the moment it will be done. You are healed. You are delivered. You are set free. You have got the miracle. Lord, let there be manifestation everywhere. In Jesus' name we pray. He will do it. God of wonders. God of wonders. Is that teach. Every yoke shall be destroyed.
Hopelessness shall be taken away. Jesus the Savior is at work. Great some mighty thing will happen. The glory of God will be seen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Somebody say better, amen. amen. <laughs> you know Jesus Christ, the miracle worker. Yes. He got to a place. And because they were talking of somebody who had gone dead. Four days. Yes. You have had it. This one and many testimonies we have had about Jesus that dead came to life resurrection power raise people who have been forgotten but they said well forget about him but Jesus Jesus the miracle working father Jesus Raise them up again. Yes, he got to that place. The man's name, Lazarus. But do you know what? When Jesus Christ said, remove the stone on the grave, on the tomb. And they said, oh now, we, we need not to do that again. The man is there for four days. And you know, and it was so great. Jesus Christ said, don't I tell you, if you believe you will see the glory of God. So wonderful. And uh, they removed the stone. Jesus Christ called. Lazarus, come out. And the one that was dead came forth. I'm telling you, there will be a resurrection tonight. Because Jesus, the resurrection alive, is here present. He will do it again. He will do it again. Yes. You know, Jesus Christ said to the man, come out from the grave. And what happened? What happened? The dead man, rotting, stinking, came forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hands and foot with grave clothes. And his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus said unto them, Loose in and let him go. Loose in and let him go. There will be freedom. Yes, that's Jesus, the miracle worker. We are going to pray. Can you raise up your hand? Straight for your hand. And say tonight. 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 Restoration power. Restoration power. He will raise all those who are dead. He will raise the dead. He will bring to life those things that the enemy has destroyed. Yes, he will do it again. I call upon the Lord and take it to prayer. That there will be restoration power. There will be restoration power. There will be hope for the hopeless. Yes, restoration power. One day again, Jesus will do it again. Yes, there will be freedom. He will lose all those who are captives of the enemy, he will liberate. He will set them free. Yes, this is the night. This is the night. Yes, he will do mighty, mighty things. Dead, we come back to life. Dead, we come back to life. Those, they have forgotten. The hopeless. That the enemy has death. You know, <laughs> they, are, they have destined them to, to, to hopelessness. They are going to hear the voice of the mighty Messiah, the mighty God, the El Shaddai, and great will be the miracle. They will come back to life. They will come back to life. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. <laughs> Let me tell you, you just have to quickly call right now. It might be as a result of the past GCK or the 
oppression, the one we started yesterday, because the Lord is at work doing miracle, signs and wonder. And yes, yes, this time you'll be given the privilege, the chance to share your testimony. You are among the testifier that you have gotten, you have received miracle, and you have such testimony to share wherever you are. Can you wave up? Can you wave your hand? You've gotten miracle and uh, you have the testimony you want to Now, just walk, move majestically like army of the Lord and move to the front by my left hand, by my left hand, under the white canopy with white chairs under it. Now, you move to the front right there, go there. Go there now. Be coming, be coming, be coming. Don't waste time. Don't waste time. They are waiting for you there. And all our region of the and the group pastor, you move to that same place right now. Yes, those testifiers, move to that place. Yes, I want to tell you, somebody there, you will be a man the testifier tonight. Your miracle will come. Jesus Christ walking and he told Peter about what has never been been the experience of Peter was what happened that day and he said if you are the one Jesus you can tell me to begin to walk on the sea and Peter step on the water and begin to walk yes miracle thing you never you never thought of will happen in your life you are going to pray you are going to pray right now and say all over the world, right from this place, Lord, stretch forth your hand of wonder, your hands of miracle, your hands of signs and wonder to every participant, every participant of this GCK, of this crusade. Can you call upon the Lord? Miracle, he will do it again. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. <laughs> From tonight, you will become unconquerable. <laughs> yes, listen to this. Yes, Tori gongo to ti so lateyin wa e eyin ti e ti ri owo oluwa laye eyin ti se yanu ti sele ninu aye eyin te ti gba ni akoko isoje ikari aye ni bi te wa ijuwo yin soke jo e ti gba se yanu kan tabi keji yes e ni sisin yi ni bi te ba wa e dide ku o nbe e dide gear e eru nbesu eru nbesu e kuku jalaya e and you like John Malaya, eh? A Jalaya, Sula, and Jalaya, a Jalaya, Tori Oruko, Jesuni. Oh, yeah, a Jaden Vitawa, a Mabo, a Sia Pala, Fia, a Pausi, Nia Be, eh, Ke, Abe, Kene, Kene, my Moibo, eh? So, a Jacate to Abe. So, I want to ask you, boy, you're tired, boy, you want to be. Eh, kini gbon gbon to wa leyin yen ka lo sibe lati bo yoruba praise the lord signs and wonders shall follow you signs and wonders shall follow you i say signs and wonders shall follow you you are going to declare everybody said declaration of signs and wonder you will declare you say in the name of Jesus, let there be signs, some wonder everywhere tonight. Everywhere tonight. Everywhere tonight. Online, audience, 
here in Oshobo, signs and wonder tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Okay, okay. <laughs> amen. Brother. It is done. Brother. Say better, amen. amen. Our Lord Jesus, signs and wonder, miracle everywhere. Yes, because you have spoiled principalities and power, you've triumphed over them openly. Father, this day, all over the world, we are there connecting with this GCK, our location. Let there be signs and wonder in the name of Jesus. There's no doubt about it. Your servant, you have anointed him. Your servant, you have raised him with mighty and miraculous anointing. Yes, this night, much more than we have ever seen. Great signs and wonders shall be wrought in the name of Jesus. Everyone will be particular. Lord, we thank you. Because that you have done. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. One. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are here tonight for a divine miracle for the Lord, shout a bigger hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe with me that you are going on with a double portion of miracle, I want you to stand upon your feet and shout a bigger hallelujah. To God be the glory, great is he has done, so love be the world that he gave us his son.
Jesus, to turn it back to I am a winner. When I go with the Lord Jesus, to turn it back to I am a winner. When I go with the Lord Jesus, to turn it back to I am a winner. When I go with the Lord Jesus, to turn it back to I am a winner. Lord, I want to know. I am a winner. Lord, I don't know. 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 I don't So shall it be in Jesus' name. Shall we close the house for prayer, please? Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for yesterday. Thank you for what you did yesterday. Great, with mighty power, with my miracle, you move in our midst to the yesterday. Today, Lord, do greater things in Jesus' name. As we come to do, Lord, our situations are very great. Lord, meet every heart need in Jesus' name. Bless everyone. Save souls, deliver souls. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's turn to the back page of our program. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day that fix my shores. On thee, my Savior, and my God. Well, may this great heart rejoice and tell the raptures abroad. This done, great transaction done, and the Lord and he is mine. He drew me and I follow on. Charm to confess the voice of divine. Now rest my longing divided heart. Feast on this blissful center rest. Nor ever from Lord depart. With him every good possess. High heaven that had the solemn vow. That now renewed shall daily hear. Till life's latest hour I bow. And bless in death so dear. Happy day, happy day, when Jesus washed my sins away. He taught me how to wash and pray and live rejoicing every day. Happy day, happy day, when Jesus washed my sins away.
Hallelujah! I say praise the Lord. Welcome to day two of GCK, Jesus the Miracle Worker. And I know that Jesus has done all things well. In your life, in your family, in the nations, Jesus has done all things well. Why don't we take some time to worship him and praise him? Let's glorify his holy name. Let's lift him up. Let's be upstanding. Let's be upstanding. Let's worship his holy name. Praise him. Lift up his voice. Shall we pray? Let's glorify his holy name. He's a faithful God. He has done all things well. Tell him. Tell him and worship him. Tell him, in my life you have done all things well. In my family you have done all things well. In the nations you have done all things well. In the ministry you have done all things well. Let's worship God. Let's praise him. Let's lift up his holy name. He deserves our thanks and our praises. Glory be to his holy. There is none like unto him. Let's worship him because even this GCK, through this GCK, he has done all things well. Worship his holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Give me a louder amen. You know, I want us to pray at this time. We are praying for nations that have been affected by economic distress, 
by nations that have been affected by, you know, natural disasters. Let me show you one scripture in the Bible, First Chronicles chapter 29 in verse 11. It says, Thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. Give me a loud amen. Now look at verse 12. It says, both riches and honor come of thee, and thou reignest over all, and in thy hand is power and might, and in thy hand it is to make great and to give strength and to want to pray for all the nations that are being affected by, you know, the economic downturn. There's high inflation, high commodity prices, high unemployment. I want us to lift up our voices and pray that God is going to remove them from those situations. Shall we pray? Let's talk to the Lord in prayer. Never mind the economic fundamentals. Never mind what they are talking about, the macroeconomic indicators. What we are saying is that God reigns in the kingdoms of men. God intervenes in the kingdoms of men. And none can stay his hand and say what doest thou. I want you to pray and tell the Lord, Lord, intervene in the situation. Intervene in the nations, O oh God. Intervene, Almighty God. Turn things around, O oh God. Release your people, O oh God, from you know, bondage. Release your people from poverty. Release your people, Almighty God, from this slow economy. God, counter all the effects, oh God, that have caused economic downturn in Southern Africa, in West Africa, in North Africa, in East Africa, in Asia, in the Americas. Let's talk to the Lord and pray that God will intervene in Europe, that all the places where the economy is slow, is grinding to a halt, things will turn around. Let's talk to the Lord. As we pray like that, let's bless the nations. You know what the psalmist said? He says, they that pass by, did not say the blessing of the Lord be upon thee. We want to change that. We want to say the blessing of the Lord be upon Africa. I want you to be saying it. The blessing of the Lord be upon Asia. The blessing of the Lord, be, where you are in your country, say the blessing of the Lord be in this place. The blessing of the Lord be in the economy. The blessing of the Lord be in the Americas. Open your mouth, open your mouth wide. The Lord is going to feel it so that in all the places, there is going to be a transformation. There's going to be a change. The blessing of the Lord. There will be showers of blessings. There will be explosion of economic prosperity in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. We want to pray. We want to pray that all the countries that have been facing natural disasters, it could be floods, it could be droughts, it could be this or that. The Bible says when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. Never mind the, 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 the focus. They're saying it's the effect of this or the effect of that. We are not disputing. All we are saying is that God of heaven intervene in this situation. Shall we pray? Lift up your voices. Lift up your voice. All the places that have been hit with floods in Southern Africa, in West Africa, in the Asia's, you know, heat strokes and so on. You know, all those places, natural disasters, droughts, and all kinds of things, floods in the Americas. Europe has been faced with its own challenges. Why don't we talk to the Lord in prayer? Why don't we elicit the help of heaven? Are you praying? Are you praying? Are, are you praying? Are you praying? Pray, tell the Lord. Pray, tell the Lord. Pray, ask God to come through. Pray, tell God to intervene and interfere, interfere in these situations. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, I want to pray that all the souls that are in those places, God is going to preserve them. I want to pray for deliverance and salvation in those places. That those that are at the threat of death, they are threatened by the prospect of death because of their situation. We want to ask God that God deliver your people. Shall we pray? Let's pray for the deliverance of the Lord. Let's pray for salvation upon his people. Let's pray that God will have mercy upon his people. Let's pray that God will have mercy upon his people. Let's pray that God will arise for his people. Let's pray that God will be with his people. The Bible says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. Let's pray that all those people that are affected in one way or the other, the salvation of the Lord, the deliverance of the Lord, will be the portion of their lives. Open your mouth. I want to hear you pray. I want to see that you are praying. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Now, I want to pray for the convener of the GCC. Our Father in the Lord, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumu. We want to pray for him that God is going to anoint him them all. That in this particular, you know what Paul told the Romans? He said, when I come unto you, I will come in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel. We want to pray that the fullness of the blessing of the gospel will be the portion of our lives in this GCK August edition, Jesus the Miracle Worker. Open your mouth, talk to the Lord in prayer. Talk to the Lord in prayer. It's a wonderful day. Let's pray for our Father in the Lord. God will anoint him the more. Supernatural. What we've not seen before. What we have not experienced before. God is going to use his vessel to be able to accomplish that. Let's pray for all the, you know, the, the engagements that he had. That God is going to prosper all, all these days that he's going to be ministering. In the minister's conference, the GCK, God will do something definite in him. Let's pray for long life. Let's pray for good health. Let's pray for, you know, sustained, you know, anointing upon his life. Let's pray that God is going to continue using him as a sharp threshing instrument to contend for the faith that was once delivered to the saints in these last days. Let's pray for other ministers of the gospel as well. Those that are preaching the truth, those that are preparing the people for the coming of the Lord. Let's pray that God is going to continue giving them courage. God is going to continue giving them strength. God is going to continue giving them the resources. God will open doors for them that this gospel is going to be spread abroad across all nations. In Jesus' name we pray. Give me a louder amen. We are going to pray for with the crusade participants that God is going to bless his people. All the people that are in attendance on all the days, they are going to receive their blessing. Souls will be saved. Souls are going to be preserved. Open your mouth, talk to the Lord in prayer. Let's pray for supernatural visitation from God upon his people. Those people that are bound in one way or the other, the people that are looking up to God for salvation, they are looking up to God for deliverance, long-standing challenges in their lives, in their families, and they are crying to God, God, how long? This is the bus stop. This is the end place. This is where they get their blessing. This is their Bethel. Jesus, the miracle worker. In Jesus' name we pray. Heavenly Father, we bless your holy name. You are the ancient of days. We glorify you, O God. Lord, we pray that as we have called upon your holy name, as we have sought you, O God, for the economies, for the nations affected in one way or the other, you will visit every nation in Jesus' name. And in this very crusade, O God, all we are saying is that you have done all things well. Do it and outdo yourself, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray a glorious Oshobo. Amen. Everybody, everywhere connected with this crusade, shout hallelujah. Mm, you can make it better. I said everybody everywhere at the have a location here all over the world and you are connected with this crusade shout hallelujah <laughs> that you are here present or connected with this crusade on this second day it is well with you already <laughs> did you say amen? amen it is well with you already in Jesus name you are welcome in Jesus' name. Now, the scripture says we should count such elders that rule well worthy of double honor, especially those who labor in the world. The convener of GCK, who also is the general superintendent of the deeper Christian life ministry worldwide, are their father in the Lord. Yesterday, we didn't welcome him. He just suddenly appeared before us and he began to preach. But today it's going to be different. Double honor. We dare not make it single. Double honor. Dear father, you are welcome, sir. Thank you very much, sir. The Lord be with you more and more, sir. 
You are welcome, sir. Our daddy is not here alone. Our beloved mommy, our mother in the Lord, she is also here. Mommy, you are welcome, ma. The Lord continue to be with you and to strengthen your hand as you walk with our father in the Lord in Jesus' name. We may sit down, please. We have some dignitaries here, especially from the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, Oshun State, and the PFN, that's the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, Oshun State. Uh, they've been very, very helpful. They have stood by us, and we actually in this program together. And that's why, even before many of us got here, some of them were already seated here, waiting for us to come. Long, long, long before 5 o'clock. We appreciate you all, sir. And uh, among those who are here are Evangelist Peter Okeride, who is the PFN Assistant Crusade Director. Where is he, please? Oh, thank you very much. You are welcome in Jesus' name. We have Reverend Awonati here, too, the PFN Director of Protocols. He's there, too. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Bishop Dr. Michael Adebumi, the Assistant Secretary of PFN Osho State. Where are you, sir? Okay, you are welcome. Yo, you are welcome in Jesus' name. And uh, he's also the coordinator of Nigeria Praise Osho State. Uh, when others come around, we may let us uh, have the understanding of that. And uh, we also have our kind leaders here. Please, uh, can you please rise up and uh, let's welcome you, kind leaders that are here, and the PFN leaders too. You are welcome in Jesus' name. The Lord be with you. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. Uh, just before we continue with the program, we want to remind that every convert at this program yesterday, and those who, by the grace of God, you will yield their lives unto the Lord. There is a banquet prepared. We call it lunch hour with the Lord Jesus Christ. And it comes up by 3 p.m. every day of this crusade. And it holds in one of the halls within this premises. It's just on my own left-hand side. Just to us, your own right-hand side. 3 p.m. And please, our counselors should help the young converts to be there in time. Much blessings are with them there, and they'll be richly blessed as they participate there in Jesus' name. Uh, please, uh, for those uh, uh, folks who do not understand English language very well, uh, please listen to this. Yoruba audience, help me to tell those who may not understand this, Yoruba audience is located from the cant of the trees there. Behind the trees, behind us here, there, just look at that tree, behind there, we have the Yoruba audience seated somewhere there. And Igbo language is located at the extreme right side when facing the altar. When you face the altar, the extreme right hand side over there, please, at the Igbo audience, you please move to that place. Likewise, Igede language, those who want to hear all that is going on in Igede, they are directly behind the congregation opposite the altar area here. So please, Igede people, just go behind the congregation over there. You will meet others there. And the Lord will richly bless you in Jesus' name. Uh, some ATM cards were found. If you lost your ATM cards, please, uh, please just ask for the information center and go there and you will have them given to you there. We want to appreciate that uh, Professor Isaiah Olunati Oluriola, who is the Dean of the School of Postgraduate Studies, Angkor University, Ayobo, Lagos, is here with us too. Please rise up, let's, you are welcome in Jesus' name. And uh, you yourself, already I told you it is well with you. Again, I say you are welcome in Jesus' name. You know this night, because it's already well with you, you will not go home empty-handed. You didn't say amen. Yeah. You will not go empty-handed away from this place tonight. Get ready. The blessing of the Lord has shower. They're coming upon you in Jesus' name. Join us in singing with joy. 
to our great King Jesus as we present to you choir ministrations from regions, states, and nations across the globe. Thank you. 
or turn and walk away. For the choice is yours, it's just a simple thing. So many souls have tested him throughout the course of time. So many still reach out to him with broken hearts and minds. And every one of them will say, without exception, that they find that Jesus never fails. Sometimes. I know you could not make it without Jesus being there. He's so encouraging to know, however deep we are in despair, that Jesus never Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. Since the insertion of the GCK, there was never a day that the wonders of the Lord were not declared. And even so today, we have some testimonies of the wonders of the Lord that the Lord God had wonderfully done in these people's lives. So we're going to listen to 
Just two this evening. Praise the Lord. I am Dr. D.G. Samson, a consultant, a public health physician. I have here with me somebody who is here at testimony. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to glorify the name of the Lord for what he did for my husband at, the, at Enugu Global Crusade. I remember the last day of the global crusade, pastor prophesied that go for that interview and you will succeed. So he was to write a promotional exam the following day. So he went for that exam and to God be the glory, he passed the, the exam and he was promoted to a position that it would have taken him like six or seven years to get to that position. I really want to bless the name of the Lord for what God has done for us. And I say, may his name be glorified in Jesus' name. And I also want to testify to God's glory for what he did for me at the last global crusade. Uh, I actually, I can't really remember when the problem started. So... I just noticed that after moving on a short distance, it will look as if my heart cannot carry me, and I will be so weak. I want to glorify the name of the Lord. The Lord touched me at the last global crusade, and I want to say I no longer feel it again. I'm now normal. I say may his name be glorified in Jesus' name. And you will no longer feel it in Jesus' name. Amen. Everybody, the clapping was too low. You should do it better. <laughs> Praise the Lord. The Lord touches every area of our lives. So you to get ready this evening, the Lord will touch you. We have a second presenter. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, my name is Brother ADBC Joshua. I'm privileged to share this testimony once again with the people of the Lord. I had once shared it on showers, uh, last GCK, November 2021, showers of blessing. I was a farmer at Edo State. I've been battling with this embarrassing problem, urinary problem, for past 20 years. I visited hospital. They advised me to reduce my carbohydrate intake. I did, or to no avail. If I pay you a visit, my friend, you don't need any prophet to tell you that this one is having a problem. Because I'll be visiting also a toilet regularly. I hardly enjoy my sleep. It's so embarrassing. But on a fateful day, GCK November 2021, showers of blessings to be precise. As usual, our Father in the Lord was praying. He said, place your hand upon where you're having a problem and raise one up. I did. I placed my hand upon my head and I raised my right hand up. But when he made mention, you that has urinary problem, I immediately dropped my hand to my lower abdomen. I didn't felt anything. I tried back to my village. On that fateful day, my brethren, for the first time, I wake up in the morning. I didn't wake up just once before daybreak. When I wake up in the morning, it's like somebody tapped me. Your, your miracle is done. Look at you. you are, I urinated like a newborn baby. I went to my pastor, Pastor John Edo. He will be watching me live in Ugogi, Edo State now. They will be shouting to the name of the Lord as they are watching me. I want to tell you the problem was rolled away. I have to go to our headquarters at uh, Okada to share the testimony. I really appreciate the Lord because God is working mightily through our Father in the Lord. And I want to tell you, my brother and sister that are sitting there, God will visit you tonight in Jesus' name. Thank you very Praise much. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, the doctor wants to make a little comment on that. Thank you very much. All right, sir. He actually had uh, what medically we call diabetes insipidus. Uh, she, he has been having polyuria, and the laboratory test did not even confirm that the sugar level was high. So obviously, this was a miracle. Praise you, the Lord. Hallelujah. Whatever the name of that disease that you have in your body before this evening, don't worry. The name of Jesus is higher. 
the name of Jesus is greater. And in the name of Jesus, it will disappear. Just already it's well with you that you are here. And at the point of your need, the Lord will meet you in Jesus' name. While we get ready for the Alpha Location Choir to come up, we please listen very well to this. By the grace of God, tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., all our youths, all our youths will be gathering together for Impart Academy. And it's going to be very different this time around. It's going to be greater this time around. And so all of you that are youths here, where are you? Are you not happy? God bless you real good in Jesus' name. It's your day tomorrow. Yes. He's calling you from a life of wasted years. Wisdom. Why don't you start for wisdom? And
and seek understanding. Because there is someone, yes, there is someone who knows and he always cares about you. Give it up. Give everything up. All your bodies, give it up. Because you can't go on with a life of wasted years. Wasted years. Wasted years. the Lord. Welcome to the Global Crusade with Kumuye live from Osobo, Osun State, Nigeria. Special welcome goes to our global audience that is joining us online from across the world. I'm reminded of the testimony of somebody that came to a crusade with hunchback and that hunchback was cleared. I'm reminded of somebody who came with elephantiasis and that elephantiasis was actually removed from that leg. In this crusade, as we come before the Lord, I want to assure you that Jesus, the miracle worker, through the ministry of Dr. William Kumui, 
He will meet you at your very point of need. To help us prepare and connect to that God of miracles, I have the pleasure to invite to the stage Corey Voss, a gifted worship leader and songwriter to lead us in a time of worship. It's so good to be here tonight. We're going to worship together. I want to say thank you to Pastor Dr. Kumi for inviting me out to lead worship. And we're going to encounter Jesus together tonight as we worship. Amen. Oh, oh. Shout out your praise. There's joy. 